No, you can't bring opinions to argument. You have to bring facts. If Deontay Wilder was right here right now and he needed to say something to me, what, what you what you would tell him? Uh, yo, I wouldn't even be disrespectful. I'd just be like, yo, man, like, bro, don't act like the victim. You feel me? You you said something about my pops. He said something. I know he probably, yeah, he waited, but that's how he is. He waited. He said something mm-hmm. back. Now you can't take it? Oh. So now he does an interview with them. Mm-hmm. He speaks his speech. Now, oh, all of a sudden, oh, he's, oh, he's um, attacking Deontay's character and all of that. I'm like, wasn't he just saying he poisoned his water? I'm like, you see, Deontay's acting like a victim. Yeah, you're acting like a victim, man. You you call yourself a king, you, you say all of that, man. But then, like, this still is a clown, bro. He's really a clown. What what, you, what what how you felt? How you felt? And how your pops felt when y'all first heard the allegations? See me, per- I found out. I found about. I found out about it first for anybody, and okay. I told him, and he was just confused. Like, and this dude is a liar, man. Like everything he says is just a contradiction, man. Like, I can fight. I That's wrong. He took. He took like two points off. What are you talking about? The ref is against you. You talking about he took a cocktail, and yo, and they believe this dude, man. He took a cocktail. Mm. What? <laughs> a cocktail. He took a cocktail drink. He said, oh, look- yeah. Okay. Come on, bro. He said, uh, I think he said, the ref. he's like, yeah, I just got that vibe from the ref. Yeah, I'm going to get you, black man. True. I'm like, why would, why would anybody? I don't think that both men will be jealous of anybody, especially if your father's out there training, training him. I, I, yeah, you call him a jealous hater, but you're the one who came out with these allegations first. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, you don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Because you're acting like the victim now when you're the one who attacked him first. Now, first it was the the it was the towel, it was a towel. Yeah, listen, I, he fired him. Listen, he fired him because he threw in the towel. That's it. He didn't fire him because he spiked no water. The allegations and things of that nature. Um. What you what your father felt about or what, what you when you said when you said earlier that it faded out what faded out the relationship you feel or what honestly, you know about it honestly um I don't know a lot about that it you know people may people know people saying different things you know um, he was doing this he was doing that I don't know what my dad was doing but I just noticed like I'll be like yo dad you supposed to be in camp right now right it'd be mm-hmm. like three like two weeks, three weeks before the fight, I'm like, damn. Like, I didn't really think about it. I was just like, damn, why is he going so late? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But, you know, I, I guess, you know, he's he was getting a smaller, smaller role. But, you know, Jay, who's that, uh, Jay Diaz? Yeah. He don't know nothing. I'll be honest with you, he doesn't know anything. Um, mm-hmm. He, honestly, before, before um, my dad came in, JD, he had Deontay jabbing like, you know how you um you turn your foot when you throw a hook. Yeah, he, show show the people, show the people, Anthony Breland, show the people. <laughs> he was, yo, he was turning his foot while throwing a jab. My dad was telling me, well, yeah. "Come on, that does that sound like somebody that can train?" Mm. Like my, I, I get it. You know, I feel like my dad could have done a, a, a little bit. I, I, Obviously, Deontay ain't listen, but I feel like my dad could have done a little bit better, you know, you know, speaking up more. Because, you know, my dad, he's just, he's a soft, he's not soft, but, you know, he's a soft spoken dude. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he's, I he's, like, a man, he's a man of few words. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just felt like, you know, he should have just, you know, I just demanded, demanded, demanded. Demand. Because he's not that type of guy. Even when he trains me, well, you know, it's different with me because I'm his son. Yeah. So, you know, he kind of like demands, you know, but with Deontay, I don't know, man. Deontay is just like he. I, I will say this though, De- he did get, he did fix Deontay's right hand, you know, because I know my dad was known for the right hand in the Olympics and stuff. He was knocking everybody out with it. Yeah. So you know, he he fixed Deontay's right hand up, you know, and that was that was what was um, winning Deontay fights, you know what I mean? But eventually, you gotta learn some skill, especially when you start going up in competition, but. He wasn't. Uh, he was fighting. People talk about Arthur Spilka being a no. Uh, what is it, Johan Duhapis? 
mm-hmm. another. Um, so, it, so when your father said that he'll beat up um, um, <laughs> Deontay Wilder's opponent, <laughs> that was just to throw shots. He even felt like I that. Think, I, honestly, I think people don't understand like what he means by that. Obviously, he he's not. He's mean, fifty. Like, he's fifty, 50, 50 plus. Seven man, like got bad knees and stuff. You know what I mean? He don't <laughs> obviously. He don't mean I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna beat him right now. He means like if he was like your um your guy brought up a good point the other day. If he was a heavyweight, yeah, in yeah. prime or you know they were at his division, he would beat him. And he's right. Mm-hmm. He's right. Seriously, yeah. these guys were these guys were in there to lose. To be honest with you, mm. what are you not, t- not saying? Not saying the fights would fix or nothing. I'm just saying you you get what I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that I know I know what your father meant. You know. 